on the platform because I don't agree with someone that doesn't believe in Christ saying, you're cool, you're cool, you're cool, not you. And this is my friend, right? This is my boy, but we can agree to disagree, right? But it's still his platform. It's up to him. But also, I'm not a person that's going to say, hey, I agree with everything. There's things that I said today that you guys don't agree with because you're not in the same place or in the same position in your walk that I'm at. I'm in a position where I love the person who the doctor that had plastic surgery on my mom. I always have been in a way where it's, I can't hate. I am. You said your mother was sacrificed. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I believe that Michael Jordan's dad was sacrificed. I believe, uh, didn't something happen with Tiger Woods? Yeah. Uh, my mom, these are all Zionist uh, sacrifices that happen, but this is Satan at the end of the day. There's a lot of people that feel like we're at the end of days. And Jesus runs the world. God runs the world. Jesus is the real king of Israel. And I'm, I'm just a simple servant of, of God. I'm, I'm not a mathematician. Oh, no, I hear you. Yeah. you. You said white lives matter because I think you, I'm going to put words in your mouth. You understood that they're trying to demonize white people to create a, a crisis and for us to fight with each other. I thought that was very true. I think all lives matter. But you went even stronger and said white lives matter. You got criticized for that. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I thought that I, I thought that that was my right. I felt that I I, I just exercise rights that are only uh, given to whites. A white person can wear a T-shirt that says Black Lives Matter, but for a black person to wear a T-shirt that says White Lives Matter, that somehow makes me racist. So I love just going up and saying, "Hey, what do you think about this? What about that?" And if we don't use if we don't use our consciousness, they're trying to beat us into our consciousness and make us ignorant. They want to dumb us down. And I'm probably the lowest IQ here of anyone speaking. And I'm saying, say out loud what we feel. We would no longer be ran by the idea of fake influence and celebrities. I did. Yeah, I'm going to interrupt you. No, 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 no. Hold on, Alex. Don't interrupt me. I denounce, <laughs> I denounce every celebrity. I denounce every celebrity I ever stood next to. God bless you. And you know, that's the Christian word of what I really want to say. Any celebrity, only celebrity that I rock with is Ray J. Literally. Every, every one of y'all others, y'all all saw, come see me when y'all want to see me. Every fake gangster, so-called killer, any basketball player, any rapper, any actress, any musician, any model, any editor, come see me. Come see God's child right now. Please. I want it. I want I want to see my mama. You know what I'm saying? Dude, you can't, you can't touch in Jesus' name. Well, that's right. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I, I, see, I, I see good things about Hitler also. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. How about that one? They want to separate and confuse the Christians and make us afraid to stand next to each other. A Christian can stand next to anyone. We can go visit R. Kelly in prison. We can go talk to Harvey Weinstein. That's what Jesus did. Yes, because Jesus can save everyone. You know, you put on the whole armor of God and they will not be able to break your spirit. Okay, so I played those clips in its entirety because I realized a lot of people didn't really Come here to watch me. They just want to see the clip. So that's cool. But now we're going to uh, do what it is that I do. And we're going to get into this video. And I'm going to break this down a bit. We're going to go kind of line for line. And um, I'll give my thoughts. And anyone can definitely feel free to leave your thoughts down in the comments. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this video and do what it is that we do on this side. On the platform. Because I don't agree with someone that doesn't believe in Christ saying... You're cool, you're cool, you're cool, not you. And this is my friend, right? This is my boy, but we can agree to disagree, right? But it's still his platform. It's up to him. But also, I'm not a person that's going to say, hey, I agree with everything. There's things that I said today that you guys don't agree with because you're not in the same place or in the same position in your walk that I'm at. I'm in a position where I love the person who the doctor that had plastic surgery on my mom. I always have been in a way where it's, I can't hate. Okay, now, I don't see very much wrong with what he's saying so far. Um, he's in a position of love. Nothing wrong with that. We all should be. Um, that's at an extreme level, if you ask me. Uh, if, I felt like there was a person who was responsible for, you know, a mother's death. That's just a different story now. 
But, you know, if you feel like that, I, I can't knock it. That's very human of him. You said your mother was sacrificed. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I believe that Michael Jordan's dad was sacrificed. I believe, uh, didn't something happen with Tiger Woods? Yeah. Uh, my mom, these are all Zionist uh, sacrifices that happen. But this is Satan at the end of the day. It's a lot. Now, listen, now, if you want to say that you feel like your mom is sacrificed, whatever. And, but now when you start bringing in other people, you start talking about Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods and different things like that. He mentioned somebody else before um, about that, and they really got on him about it. Now, I don't think that that's cool to bring in other families into this. They, they don't have anything to do with what's going on. And I understand the freedom of speech thing, but there's just certain tact you should have. You shouldn't bring other people in that have nothing to do with the situation. Carry on. People that feel like we're at the end of days and Jesus runs the world. God runs the world. Jesus is the real king of Israel. And I'm, I'm just a simple servant of, of God. I'm, I'm not a mathematician. Oh, no, I hear you. You, you, you say now, hold on just a second. Um, for real, for real, we got to back this up just a second because we kind of got to get into this alpha right here. I'm going to say the jacket's flame. I, I, I mess with the jacket. The jacket is fire. But what's going on with my man face right now? Like, <laughs> he's got on a mask. It doesn't have any holes, any breathing holes. It's obviously muffling his voice. I mean, and he's got headphones on top of it. I mean, what are we doing? It looks like it's zipped from the front front and you guys are literally trying to have a serious conversation with him but he's wearing a full-blown i don't even know if you call it a ski mask or or what that is i don't know what's going on with that mask but i don't know he need to talk to somebody you, you, you said white lives matter because i think you i'm gonna put words in your mouth you understood that they're trying to demonize white people to create a crisis and for us to fight with each other i thought that was very true i think all lives matter but you went even stronger and said white lives matter you got criticized for that can you elaborate on that yeah, I thought that I, I thought that that was my right. I felt that I I just exercise rights that are only uh, given to whites. A white person can wear a T-shirt that says Black Lives Matter, but for a black person to wear a T-shirt that says White Lives Matter, that somehow makes me racist. So I love just going up and saying, "Hey, what do you think about this? What about that?" And if we don't use if we don't use our consciousness, they're trying to beat us into our consciousness and make us ignorant. They want to dumb us down. And I'm probably the lowest IQ here of any. OK, so I understand. The point about wearing the shirt, but I don't think that he did it for that reason. I, I think that he did it purely for controversy in that particular case. I mean, you knew that's exactly what was going to happen. And that's what I'll take about that. I don't know why he's telling people that he thinks he has the lowest IQ there and then considers himself a genius at the same time. But um, carry on. I'm speaking and I'm saying, say out loud what we feel. We would no longer be ran by the idea of fake influence and celebrities. I did. Yeah, I'm going to interrupt wait, 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 you. No, 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 no. Hold on, Alex. Don't interrupt me. I did not. <laughs> hold on, bro. <laughs> Uh, listen, this is Alex Jones show. It's on his platform. Like, and he's going to tell him, <laughs> no, don't interrupt me. I hear you. Go ahead, bro. Every celebrity, I denounce every celebrity I ever stood next to. God bless you. And you know, that's the Christian word of what I really want to say. Any celebrity, only celebrity that I rock with is Ray J. Literally. Every every one of y'all others, y'all all saw, come see me when y'all want to see me. Every fake gangster, so-called killer, any basketball player, any rapper, any actress, any musician, any model, any editor, come see yeah, me. Come see this. God's child right now. Please. I want it. I want I want, I want to see my mama. You know what I'm saying? Dude, you can't, you can't touch it. Combo breaker. Wait a minute, bro. Like, does he sound like he's just a bit suicidal to me? Like, he wants to see his mama? Like, that's that's where he's at? Um, Somebody might want to do a wellness check on his brother. Like, seriously, all jokes aside, because um, the way that he's talking right now, he feels like he doesn't have anything to lose, in my opinion. So, anybody close to the brother... Do a wellness check on him, please. Ray J, I guess y'all cool. Hit the homeboy up. Um, 
I'm I'm pretty surprised that Ray J is the one person he would not denounce. I don't know if you guys know the history, but you know his and his wife's entire claim to fame was her with that um, adult film tape that they made with you know her doing everything under the sun as best she could, which was wasn't good in my opinion. But she did that and she became famous. She conjured up a plan with her mother reviewing the tapes according to Ray J and came up with that. And Ray J was part of it. Um, Ray J made oodles and oodles of money of it. Um, Ray J was being funny about it. He said, he, 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 oh, if you don't want the money from it, then I'm just going to donate it to your favorite charity. He was really being a, a, a jerk about it, seriously. Um, at some point, Kanye must have begged him or whatever he did for him, but he um, or paid a ransom. Who knows what he did? But he he basically got the tape, the second one, which Ray J could have released, but didn't. He got the second tape, which doesn't even make any sense to me. It's probably just symbolism of it, of getting the tape, because do you think that he's just going to have one copy in one place and could never potentially release it again? Like. Come on, bro. If the dude held that thing for a decade, I think he had another copy somewhere if he cherished it that much. Just just me and my thinking. But I guess the symbol of the symbolism of it, maybe he didn't think he was going to release it, but whatever. So they've been kind of cool since then. And he was hanging around Ray J at that uh, event that they were at with the White Lives Matter and Candace Owens. So I guess they're cool now, but maybe bosom buddies. I don't know. He said he's the only celebrity he didn't denounce. Outrageous. To me, that would have been a stretch for me because he constantly disrespected his wife and continues to. So, um, I mean, it's his ex-wife now, but still, that's just me. But maybe he's different. Jesus name. That's right. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I... I see I I see good things about Hitler also. Every human Now, listen. You can't start your sentence like that and don't think that this is going to be very bad. This is going to be very bad. Very bad. Very bad. You can't start a sentence off like that. Like that. You don't start your sentence off like that. If you were going to say that after the fact, if that's what you really felt, whatever, I wouldn't even do that, but to start it off, that's your lead. You got to be kidding me. There is no after that. There's nothing else you say can be deemed as good if you start like that. It's just not going to work. Carry on. And being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. How about that one? They Especially. Come on, bro. Especially. Yeah. Come on, bro. I want to separate and confuse the Christians and make us afraid to stand next to each other. A Christian can stand next to anyone. We can go visit R. Kelly in prison. We can go talk to Harvey Weinstein. That's what Jesus did. Yes, because Jesus can save everyone. You know, you put on the whole armor of God and they will not be able to break your spirit. Yeah, so this is this is pretty wicked, man. That's just like there's so much wrong with that man you can't make those types of statements man like you wouldn't apologize after you lost everything and then and then you come back with this it's not working in your favor man people aren't going to take what you say seriously and in the same breath you're running for president good luck with that don't waste your campaign money bro like don't go broke running for president like come on bro like how how could you what, what makes you think that people are going to vote for you now bro with this I was really riding with you for a while, but it, it doesn't seem like you're in your right state of mind at this point, because when you when you go on this way, man, and then at the same time, you're trying to run for president. Like, even if these were your thoughts and this is how you genuinely felt, whatever. But now you, you think that people are going to get on board with you and run everything you touch. It turns to, you know what, right now, man, it's not working. Adidas said, no, wait, your bank seized your bread this is how it's going down man the cancer culture is real you can't play around with certain people like that man it's not going to do well for you this is not going to work man like i don't know what you're going to do but um if i were you i would just chill out let this blow over 
fade off into the sunset and and just chill chill because this is way too much man you're doing way too much at this point man like you can't come on tv with the full-blown mask covering everything and then expect people to take you seriously i don't understand it like who's going to take you seriously now you tell me I'm not going to go too crazy on this. I just wanted to let you know what my thoughts were. And I'm very curious to see what everyone's thoughts is about this. You let me know if he's completely lost his marbles. Or maybe maybe I'm just off the mark here. Maybe, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe he could run for presidency right now. Maybe, like, what do I know, right? You guys let me know down in the comments what you think. You already know what it is that I think. And um, definitely uh, throw a like up, man. We, we definitely need that on this side. Share this with at least a few people if you would. And we'll see you next time. I'll be dropping a few more videos very soon. So just keep it rolling. And as always, stay hungry, my friends. Never thirsty.